Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Leap Show, a show where I take you through from start to finish a complete edit of one of my pictures. Um, you can download these pictures in their JPEG format because today you're going to be getting four images and uh, just to conserve the file size, um, each file is 50 megabytes each, so I didn't want to uh, overload you guys with having to download huge files. So the are JPEGs this week. Um, if you're wanting to get the DNG files, please leave a comment and I'll, I'll um, upload it. Uh, but I think for the job this week, we JPEGs will be sufficient. So what are these four images? These images are different shots, or shot from the same location, same composition, on a tripod, of light trails of the Auckland city. Um, and we're going to be putting them together in Photoshop using a few techniques where we will blend these images into a single exposure. So let's get started. All right, so let's start. Here we have the first exposure. This is the second exposure, third and fourth. What I'm wanting to do here is essentially blend these four images into a single exposure. Now I was shooting on a tripod and, and this was shot using the built-in interval of the camera. So there is really no movement in any of these images in terms of their alignment and composition. So we will load these up straight away into light into Photoshop. Right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, so they are all loaded up here. Now my very first exposure is this one, 937, 944, 49 and 52. These are the images that I've selected. Um, this is my first exposure, the main one. Um, I, so I can cycle through and pick one which is going to be my base to start off with. I've already chosen this is my base so I'll move this down to the bottom. And the easiest way to do this is obviously just um, go into each layer and change the blend type to lighten. What this will do is it will add the exposure on top. Uh, only the light and bright parts. So it's just a blending mode that's quick and easy. And there you go. Here's the final merged image of all exposures. It's taken all of the brightness. So along the image up here and all the light trails blended in. And here's the final result. So let me turn these layers off. This is what the first base exposure was. Added some more lights. You see it starts to become a bit more busier on the road. A bit more. And finally, this is the complete image. So here we have all the light trails added into the single exposure. So that's the quickest way. Um, what it also does is obviously it adds light here, light up here. And if you're looking for just a quick blend, this is it. You're done. There's nothing more you need to do here. Um, however, if you want to selectively blend, you can undo all of this and basically blend each image layer by layer manually. So I'll show you that how I do it as well. So I'm going to switch these layers back into their normal blend mode. So I can see them. Okay, so this is the normal blend. So here it is. Here's the after. So what I want to get from this image is the light trails here, these here, these ones here, over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer mask, but I'm going to hold the Alt key as I click on it, which hides the image and only exposes this where I will color in with white. So I'm going to use my brush tool here, make sure my color is white, and I'm going to brush this in here. So you'll see, we'll start to see these light trails added. Now it will look like that it's brushing out what was there before, which is okay. So let me add this here, some more light trails. Okay, so that's that. So now I'm gonna come to the image itself. So not on the layer mask, but on the image. I'm gonna change the blend mode again to lighten. But now it's selectively lightening, only adding these light trails and these not affecting any of the lights up here or this bridge. The lighting here changes from exposure to exposure. It changes colors, it changes brightness. So I don't want that affecting this layer. 
So let's go to the next one. What do we want from this one? Okay. So we want these light trails, which are nice. And I want this light trail here. And I'm going to add this one here. This one, we're not going to worry about it because we already have plenty of lights adding here. So let's do that. Add another layer mask, hold the Alt key, and it's invisible. So we're on the mask with the brush. I'm going to brush it in. Going to brush this in. Now it's erasing those, but it's not. It will add them in a second. I'm going to add these ones here as well. Cool. And I'm going to add this S bend here, starting from the bushes. So now going back to the image, I'm going to click on Lighten again. And there we go, we have more light trails added. Let's look at the final image, where we want to get from this. Okay, so this, this bend continues, I'm going to add this one. Nothing really from up this side. Maybe I'll add this one as well. So we'll add this as well as this little bend here. Okay, so again, Alt and click the layer mask. Hides it. Now with my white color and a brush, I'm going to blend this in. Add this light trail here. Um, nothing really here. Add these. Cool. And then just lighten. Oops. I was going to do that on the mask. That's not what we want. Go to the image. Change that to lighten. And there we go. So now this is the final image that we have. Let's merge this. Merge layers. So this was the original. And by selectively merging portions of the other images, this is what we have added on top. Before, after, before, after. We have nice light trails on this side and some really cool light streaks on this side. All right, there you go. That's the final complete image merged of four different exposures. Uh, be sure to download these four images yourself and give this technique a try. Go out there, capture your own light trails and blend them together to create something unique. Uh, be sure to share what you end up creating in the links below. I would love to see what you've created. Um, and uh, yeah, I uh, will see you in the next week's episode. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, put a comment in, in the link. Please.